All right. Let's see if the second time is a charm and if I can get through this rant. Uh, this time with this battery, although I really wanted to add some uh, some stuff to the rant, the same rant I just tried. So we're going to start again with some new additions. So uh, anyway, what is it? It is a Wednesday night, July 17th, 2024, a blissfully cool cloudy night here at Bugs in a Jar Farm recovering from the from heat stroke. So anyway, I was I've been trying to, you know, over over there on that the mainstream media is where I've been playing around figuring out what to rant about tonight. And uh, I thought of uh, getting into this story about this pair of clueless fucking morons over in India who walked out in the middle of a of a train trestle 90 feet above, I guess, a river uh, to take selfies for their little uh, social media, whatever it was, Facebook or whichever one it was, uh, not considering that freight trains use the same, uh, the, the same trestle so we can all guess what happened. They basically had to make a choice do we stay here and get run over by a freight train, or do we jump off this 90-foot trestle? But I will let you go uh, find the uh, end of that story. But it's safe to say <clears throat> that there's two fewer clueless fucking morons in the country of India today. So that's a pretty good thing. And uh, then I saw this long article in good old USA Today and said, okay, do I already break my promise to uh, my valued listeners and waste more breath on that little, uh, whatever that little kerfuffle that happened on Saturday uh, in Pennsylvania? And I was going to get into this article, uh, good old USA Today, right up near the top of the biggest news stories on the planet. And I, I'm just going to read this verbatim uh, from USA Today, but I'm not going to get deep into the story. It was titled, Jack Black Blindsided by Kyle Gass's Trump Shooting Comment ends tenacious detour. Well, I have vaguely heard of Jack Black. Uh, never heard of anyone named Kyle Gass. Have no fucking clue who t the band Tenacious D is. But this is how the article starts. Jack Black is speaking out against his bandmate's controversial comment about the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Uh, the School of Rock actor, meaning Black, said he was, quote, blindsided by bandmate Kyle Gass saying, quote, don't miss Trump next time on stage during their Tenacious D show on, on Sunday. Black said he is ending the Tenacious D tour and pausing plans to continue working with gas, and then uh, you, you know uh, just the usual uh, moral outrage about uh, you, you know anyone making a, a joke uh, like, like that. It just there 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 is no place uh, for humor in this. Absolutely. Uh, so what was the what was the context during a tenacious D show Sunday in Sydney, I guess Australia, Black presented a birthday cake to Gas for his birthday and told him to make a wish. Don't miss Trump next time, Gas said. 
referencing the assassination uh, assassination attempt on Trump. Video showed the concert audience cheering Gass's joke. Hmm. Though Black did not remark upon it. Thank you, he said. I, and I don't know who he is, whether it's Black or Gas. Thank you, he said, before moving the show along. Uh, so I don't know if there's a YouTube video showing the concert audience cheering Gas's joke about not missing Trump next time, but I have wasted way too much time on that, so I'm not going to make a full rant out of that. So this is the really the rant I was doing, and let's see if the uh, if the battery makes it out. So I I go from the mainstream media over there to uh, good old Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag, and. I see I have a question. I love it when I get questions from my readers. This is from someone I have never heard of. don't know if this is as stillness speaks. don't know if stillness speaks or male or female. Not that it makes any difference. Okay, but stillness speaks wants to know, <clears throat> why do you, you know, meaning me, Hambone Littletail, have two different channels, and Gloria Nanotti uh, weighs in with, I ask myself that question too sometimes. Okay, so since they're asking Hambone Littletail, this is Hambone Littletail's answer. Not sure what Sam Mitchell's answer to the question, why do you have two channels? But since the question was asked to Hambone, this is Hambone's answer. <clears throat> Take it away, Hambone Little Town. Why do you have two channels? <clears throat> Up until January 1st of this year, there was a much bigger difference between Hambone Little Tail, also known as a tranny lesbian with a dick, and that little eco-pussy over at that other channel, Hambone kicked that little pussy's ass seven months ago. But the problem is that little eco-pussy over there gets five times the views that I do for reasons I, meaning Hambo Little Tail, cannot fathom. So I keep most of the straight doomer porn over there now because even my fellow doomers do not want to hear the truth about things like trannies. If you are born with a dick, your pronoun is he, even if you cut your dick off, at which point you are not a woman but you are a clueless fucking moron dude who just cut his dick off. And child molesters. Rape a woman, get your dick and balls cut off. Rape a child, get your fucking head cut off. You go, Ron DeSantis. And the myth of the noble savage... Who would kill any child molester in their village because it is just the right thing to do? And capital punishment. We need more capital punishment on this planet, not less. You know, little things like that. I hope that answers your question though I realize this comment will never see print. And of course, I... So I put the comment on, I counted to 10, and went back to Humpty Dumpty Tribe, 
and obviously there was no sign of that comment uh, on my own channel. You know, I'm always telling people that about 50% of my own comments on my own channels uh, get uh, ripped down by the YouTube cop bots. And just for anybody, I was hearing this again from somebody, uh, you, you know, talking about how I ripped down their comments, reading uh, me the riot act, you know, and I, and I told the fucker, like I've told a bunch of you, I, I very rarely rip down a comment on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I'm I'm more likely, well not me, that little eco pussy over that other channel is is a little more likely to rip down comments and ban people. Uh, but uh, before you go accusing Hambone Little Tail of ripping your little comment down or whatever, pull your fucking head out of your ass, dude. Uh, I, I, I get uh, the vast majority of my own comments on my own channel uh, ripped down uh, for violating the uh, YouTube uh, community guidelines. And uh, let's see if this uh, the, the, this rant this rant with uh, parts A and B added to it uh, gets pulled down or not for reading verbatim a uh, a mainstream media news article in uh, USA Today. I honestly don't know. If uh, I give it a 50-50 that this video will be ripped down for violating uh, the YouTube community guidelines for going on Yahoo News, uh, looking at an article from USA Today and reading it verbatim. Give it a 50-50. But I I hear that uh, that Joe Biden uh, has just tested positive for Corona panic, and uh, I guess I will end my comment with a rant, sounding a little bit like Saturday's rant with that little kerfuffle. This is my comment about Joe Biden getting Corona panic. <laughs> So that is my uh my rant on Joe Biden testing positive for corona panic sounds a lot like my rant about that little kerfuffle over there in uh, Pennsylvania on Saturday but I gotta wrap this up because I actually have people coming in and I gotta get ready for their arrival bye guys <laughs>